Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're answering your questions all about the heart lung machine and pump head. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Junaid Khan, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Sutter Health Alta Bates Summit Medical Center in Oakland, California. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Khan has performed over 4,000 cardiac procedures with more than 2,000 involving some form of heart valve repair or heart valve replacement. Dr. Khan, it is great to see you again. Thanks for being with us. Adam, it's absolutely my pleasure being with you. Yeah, Dr. Khan, you and I have known each other for a long time, many years, and several of the patients are going to recognize you from the great educational events that you've hosted there at Altabates Summit Health in Oakland, California. So thanks for all the great care that you're providing our patients. Absolutely. And Adam, I want to thank you and your team for heartvalvesurgery.com. I can tell you that how many times my patients and their families tell me what a great resource it was for them, not only before surgery, but after surgery. And that is great to hear. And in terms of creating some great content to help them. Let's get into it because we got a fantastic question for you, Dr. Khan, from Tom. And he asks, what is the truth about pump head? I have read conflicting reports about whether or not the heart lung machine is potentially responsible for post-operative cognitive issues, including confusion, anxiety, and forgetfulness. Tom, that's a great question. And I think you already have your answer in your question. The, the data on this topic is very conflicting and has been conflicting for 30 to 40 years. I think the first thing to do is really talk about what a heart lung machine does, you know, how it's utilized. When we do heart surgery, particularly valve surgery, we have to open the heart. And in order to do that, we actually have to utilize a heart lung machine. It takes all the blood out of the body, puts oxygen in it, and puts it back into the body. Some people think that that creates microparticles, which can cause some neurocognitive changes. What does that mean? So first and foremost, what we talk about is when someone has a stroke. That's a big deal. That's a fixed defect. That's not what we're talking about. What neurocognitive changes mean is that when we formally test someone before and after heart surgery, we notice some changes. It could be anxiety, it could be short-term memory loss or long-term memory loss. However, what I will tell you, the reason the data is conflicting is when we do off-pump surgery, meaning when we haven't used a heart lung machine, sometimes we can exhibit the same changes. So the theory is that this is more related to a patient being sick, being in the hospital, and in general, the cardiovascular disease that they have. One of the most interesting studies that was done a few years back is taking healthy college students and just putting them in a restrained, confined environment like it would be in the hospital. They had no procedures done, but they themselves, after a week, had some neurocognitive changes. The good news is that most of these things do get significantly better at a year. The last thing I will tell you is that if you're having any symptoms, I would not take them for granted and assume it's pump head. You definitely want to be seen by a physician. Tom, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And Dr. Khan, I can't thank you enough for taking time away from your very busy practice there at Altivate Summit Health in Oakland, California, and sharing these very important insights and research with all the great members of our community. Adam, thanks so much for bringing this important question to light. And Tom, thank you for asking this question because this is a question that a lot of our patients do ask and are worried about. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.